You can see I'm literally swimming in the mud right now. And there's these mysterious holes all along the bank. I don't even know how deep they are. It literally goes on forever. Oh, this is going to be bad. Ow, ow. Look at those teeth. Look at the mud in there. Oh, it's going to be so tough to find fish in this. It's a baby fire reel, I think. It literally, it keeps going. Ah, ow. Got him. Got him. Oh my God. What is that? I got him. Oh my God. Oh, he does not look good. What's a blue crawfish? No way. Is that eggs? What is that? What is that? What is up, BFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're back at one of my favorite spots. Now, we did say that last video, okay? I have a lot of favorite spots, but this one is insane. We've only been here about two times, actually, but each time we catch crazy and crazy stuff. Last time, me and my girlfriend did a little 1v1 fish trap challenge here. She placed hers here and caught a massive prawn, a literal alien, and I went down to a new hidden tunnel that we found that video, and it was loaded with aquarium fish. Pink convict cichlids, baby royal plico, some really cool stuff. And we're back today chasing more of these crazy exotic aquarium fish. However, some time has passed and the spot looks a lot different. As you can tell behind me, you can see I'm literally swimming in the mud right now. I don't know why. The water level dropped a lot, it looks like. And if you look down there, everything is overgrown. There's weeds everywhere. Everything is just all muddy. And there's these mysterious holes all along the bank. I don't know what they're from, but as you can see, they're everywhere. I mean, you take a look here. There's one here. There's one here. There's small ones here. One there, one there, one there. Even some on the other bank. And I have no idea what they're from. I don't know what's in there, but we're going to find out today, okay? Now, I do have a couple theories on what these holes are from. If you look here, okay, they're pretty big. So it's nothing small. It's not like a little eel creating them, I don't think. My theories are it might be an iguana or like a raccoon digging in here trying to find food, or it could actually be from a placo. If you guys know placos, they dig holes in the banks to lay their eggs. That's actually why they're so bad for the environment. They destroy the banks. So these might actually be like placo holes where they lay their eggs. And if that's true, there might be fish inside of them. Now, I've come across holes like this before. And when I stuck my hand in there, I was catching crazy stuff. So hopefully we can do that today. I don't know if there's anything in these right now but it looks like all this is groundwater you can see here it's really muddy and i think under all this ground is water that's why these holes still have water it's actually kind of cold so that might mean stuff is still alive in there because you can see this little creek is actually filled with fish little tiny cichlids cool stuff like that garamis and what those little fish will do if there's like a hole or a little cave they'll actually go in there for shelter so no big fish could eat them so i don't know what created these holes i don't know what's in there but we're gonna find out today we're gonna be sticking our hands in there sticking nets in there trying to catch out whatever we can because i mean whatever is in there is trapped okay if we don't get rain anytime soon this is gonna dry up eventually they might die in there they're gonna run out of food we're gonna save whatever we can we're gonna crack this mystery see what's in there but since we're at one of my favorite spots right now that is filled with fish i want to take advantage of that and i want to play some fish traps while we're fishing these holes so we're gonna place one right in this corner you know what helen you want to do a little 1v1 sure i think i won the last one i'm pretty sure i won we'll do a little fish trap 1v1 rematch at the same spot we'll see who wins this one helen's gonna place hers here just like last time and we're gonna walk all the way down to that new hidden tunnel we found last video we're gonna walk all the way through it and place my fish trap in the middle of that tunnel all right helen ladies first you get to pick your fish trap please please don't pick my favorite one again i'll let you have it i'll pick the ugly green one okay thank god this is my signature fish trap okay this is gonna get it done watch see now that i have my fish trap i'm gonna win that doesn't mean you win the last one i still won the last one but now i'm gonna win even harder okay bsp nation this is my channel now so <laughs> i'm doing this how i want oh really i have tilapia tilapia and here's what bobby doesn't understand it's not about the fish trap it's about who's placing it really and it's me so i'm gonna win oh there you go perfect what are you planning on catching here bull shark bull shark arowana panther <laughs> okay i'm thinking oh my god wow that was a far throw wait there's no string. There's no string. <laughs> there was no string on it. Oh no. I don't know how you plan on getting it back because there was no string on it. Well guys, looks like we're gonna have a crazy video. If you stick around, you're gonna watch an alligator. What was it? A panther, alligator, bull shark? No alligator, just bull shark, panther. Okay, wow. That fish trap is gonna be absolutely loaded, guys. We're gonna get my tilapia in there and then we're gonna head down to that little hidden tunnel we found that is loaded with fish. But dude, I'm excited to get to these holes, okay? They're so mysterious. I don't even know how deep they are. Oh my God. Oh my god. It goes on. It literally goes on forever. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh my god. Something touched me. Something touched me in there. Stick your hand in there. No. Stick it in there. No. Trust me. No. Oh. You feel something? Oh my. Oh my god, a fish. I literally caught a fish already. It's a tilapia. There's fish in there. Confirm, baby. We're going to help him out. I, I don't want to keep him, but we will throw him in the actual canal. There he goes. He eventually would have died in there. Okay. This is so crazy. There's. Okay. 
Can you feel something big? Yeah. Like, look, it goes all the way back here. I don't know where it went. There it is. What is this? Ew. What the heck is that? Do you see that? Is that a fish? I think. It just moved. It literally just moved. Oh, this is so scary. That's a Pleco. Hold on. Ow! Ow! Ow, he's behind me. He's got his things locked in on the sides. I can't pull him out. Come on. Ah, ah. Oh my God, look, look at that thing. Dude, that is the biggest Pleco I've literally ever seen. I didn't know they got that big. Look at his spines right there. They got me good, dude. See what he did, he was in that hole like this, all the way in the back. I grabbed his tail and once he felt that something was trying to get him, what he did was he took his arms and put them like that and he locked himself in there. That thing is so tough. Okay, we're gonna let him go. I think that proves my point. These are probably just big Placo holes from when they go in there to lay their eggs. It's like the Megalodonna Placo. <laughs> yeah, we found the Meg, guys. Now we have caught some special Placos here. This is just a normal one, so we're not gonna keep them. But look at that face. Look at those teeth. Oh, they're so sharp. Maybe he'll go in my trap. Yeah. Oh my, that way. <laughs> Go, there he goes. That means there could be babies in here unless like the fish ate them. We'll get back to the holes in a little bit. I gotta go place my fish trap before I lose to Helen. She's got she's got a head start already. She probably caught like 10 fish already. I gotta get mine in the water. So let's head down to the tunnel and get my fish trap placed. Look at that, we're walking down the bank right now to the tunnel and there's just holes all along the bank. These holes are everywhere. We could spend probably like a whole day fishing them. Look how overgrown it is though. We can't even see the water here, so it's gonna be tough to fish this area. All right, guys, we made it to the infamous tunnel. Now, I didn't know this last time, but if you look in there, it actually just keeps going. But this is the perfect place to catch these cool aquarium fish because this is the only shaded area. Oh, there's so many fish. Oh, oh, there's, a, oh, there's, oh there's a million fish. Oh, there's a million fish. Ugh. No. <gasps> look at that. Look at the frog. He's stuck. Is he stuck? I got him. Oh, we saved him. Oh, ah, ah. Do you see that? There was a fish right here. Like a white fish, I get him. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. I got him. What the heck is that? Oh, it's another pink colorbait. We caught two of these last time. They were massive. Definitely a breeding pair. We might have just caught one of the babies. That's so cool. Look at that. That's a pink convict cichlid hole. Oh. There was another fish in there. Really? It's good eye, Helen. I don't even know what that is. Some sort of cichlid, it looks like. I don't know what that is. I can't tell, honestly. That's really cool, though. All right, here we go. We're going to get these cichlids in the bucket. Little pink convict, beautiful. And then a mystery cichlid. I can't tell what this is, you guys, but we'll keep them. All right, we're going to place our fish sharp right here in the middle, right in the deepest part. I don't know, Helen. That looks pretty good, and it is in the hidden tunnel. Well, now what we're going to do, we're going to go check out those holes. They're everywhere. We're going to stick my hand in there. It's going to be scary. And then we're going to check these fish traps, see who won the challenge, see who caught the best stuff. And yeah, let's freaking do it. Oh, Helen, look. Okay. Tell me if you see a fish right there. You see it? It looks like a stick. It looks like all these sticks, but that I think is actually one of those stick fish. Am I right? Yeah, oh, it's a little stick fish. It literally, it doesn't even move. And I saw him in the grass there. That's definitely a stick fish. All right, we're gonna get him in the bucket. Look how cool that is. And now the fun begins, guys. I have this little mini net, the perfect size for the holes. That means I don't have to stick my hand in there and risk getting bit by a snake. Look at the mud in there. Oh, it's gonna be so tough to find fish in this if there is fish. Look at my hand right now, ready? Boom, it just disappears. There's no visibility. There's a dead fish. There's a dead fish in this hole. I didn't even see that one. Oh, it's a little tilapia, okay. Well, that does mean these fish are dying. So this is kind of like a little rescue mission now. <gasps> oh my, oh my God. Oh my God, did you see that? No. There was a fish. There was another big fish. Look, is that a Mayan cichlid? I got him. Oh, he really scared me there. I felt a little slimy. Oh, oh relax, buddy. Just like the Placo, we're gonna throw this guy in the actual canal where he came from. He got stuck in that hole and uh, we're gonna save him. Go in Helen's trap. If you catch a mine cyclic, you lose. That's the rules. Really? We're going to give this one a little break, I think. Let's... Helen, the hole. It just moved. Literally, the mud just moved. That's not normal. There, that means there's a fish in it. Oh, my God. I got him. I got him. I got him. It's a tilapia. Oh, my... Another tilapia. That's so crazy. Ooh, look at the blue on his face. Kind of pretty. It's kind of pretty, yeah. What if I use my feet? Those grippers can catch anything. Oh, yeah. What if a snake's in there? He bites my... Oh! Oh, my... God! Ew! Something just bit my toe, Helen. Something bit- Oh! I caught it! I literally caught it with my toe! Look, it was a crawfish! He bit my toe, or he pinched it! That is so- I literally just caught a fish with my feet. Okay, we'll throw him back as well. We're saving fish. This is crazy. They're jam-packed in here. I didn't think these holes would be this loaded with fish. This one's not as deep as that other one. Oh! Is that a fish? Look, right here. Is that a- f Ew, it's gross. It's slimy. Oh! It's slimy. Oh my God. It's a baby fire reel, I think. No freaking way. Let's wash it off. Ah! <laughs> he jumped out. It's going crazy. He's alive. Yes. I didn't think he was alive. I thought he was dead. He wasn't moving. Let's get a better look at him. Ooh. Oh, you know what? That I think is actually called a tire track eel. You can see it looks like little tire tracks. Oh, that's awesome. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Helen, are you recording? I didn't see it at first. I'm here just scooping out mud and I spotted this guy after I dumped it out. It looks like a Jack Dempsey. I actually know. I think it's a jewel cichlid. It's gorgeous though. Let's wash it off. Look at the colors on that jewel cichlid, you guys. That's gorgeous. We're going to keep this guy. He's gorgeous. We'll put him in the bucket. Let's get a little more water in there and let's keep moving on. There's so many of these holes. There's another giant one. There's a couple buried in the grass. Let's stick the net in there. See what we can get. Oh, is that a fish? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh, we got a f Ew. Just go. Get out of here. <laughs> so not all the holes have the big placos like the first one. That probably means they laid their eggs and then got out. The other one was probably just too stupid. Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. Another tilapia. Oh my gosh, they are loaded in here. Oh, this one really goes on forever. Ah! <laughs> It literally, it keeps going. I can't even reach the end. It just goes on forever. Oh. like shoulder deep. I know. It just keeps going. To <gasps> oh, oh my God. A crawfish. He pinched me. Oh my gosh. A little baby. Another crawfish. That is so scary being shoulder deep in there and having something pinch you. All right. We'll just let this guy go. I think there's like a bright blue crawfish right in there. Are you serious? Where? Right Where? there. Right there. Oh my God. Oh, I see his claw. No freaking way. No way. No way. Where is he? Oh, yo. A Mayan cichlid too. And a blue crawfish. You spotted a blue crawfish. I think it's the first one we've ever caught in this creek. It's a monster too. I can't remember the last time we caught a blue one, okay? I don't know where they've been, but they haven't been as common as they used to. It's probably because people spot them from a mile away and they keep them, but that is a monster blue crawfish. Hell, good job. And we also caught this, a mine cichlid. Oh yeah, blue crawfish added to the collection. We are on a roll right now. There's some crazy stuff in there and who knows what we'll find next. Let's keep going. Oh! Oh, fish, fish. Look at that, a little ripple right here. You see the wake? See that water moving right there? It's moving. Oh, oh, I feel something. Oh my God, there's so many fish moving. I got him, I got him. Oh, he's, he's trying to go through my hands. I think it's a little eel. Helen, I think it's an eel. He's going through my hands. No, 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 no. I barely got him. Another eel, let's open it up. Oh, that's a bigger one. Another tire track eel, it looks like. They're looted in these holes. I don't know what it is, but they freaking love these things. That is so cool. See, it looks just like the fire eels. It's just not as red. All right, buddy, there you go. Go there with your friend. That is two eels already. There is some on the other bank. I think we should go check those out and see if we can catch a nose. I'm gonna stick my hand in this one right now and we'll see if we could feel anything. God, this is so scary. You guys have no idea. Cause you don't know what's in there. You can't see, it's just mud, it's dirt. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, there's a lot in there. There's a lot in this one, okay. They're in here. Oh, oh, there they are, there they are. There's a bunch, there's a bunch. No, I didn't get them. Oh, got them, got them. Oh my God, what is that? It's got purple eyes, Helen. Oh no, <laughs> look what I just caught you. It's for you. Purple eyes. What the heck is that? It's purple. It's literally like purple. Can you guys see that? It looks like a cichlid, but I've never seen a fish that's purple. I literally have never seen a freshwater fish purple before. That's insane. But we're gonna keep them. There's actually more in here too. Let's see if I can grab one. I felt more fish. No, okay, they're too fast. Let's get this guy in the bucket and we'll keep going. All right, another addition to the keeper bucket. Beautiful. Oh, he's going crazy. Okay, I'm looking at these two holes. That's the one we just caught the mystery fish out of, but this one, it kind of like connects to the canal almost. And if you get close here, this one's different because it's actually crystal clear water. You could see to the bottom. This is all mud though. There could be stuff buried in it. I don't know. Oh, holy crap, Helen. Get close, get close. Oh, we got something. We got something for sure. Look right there. Look, see the antenna? Oh my God, that might be a prawn. Look, see the antenna poking out? Oh, he's going back. He's scooting back. Look, look, look. Oh, it's a blue crawfish. No way. I got him. Yes. Oh, another one. That's so crazy. It's a little female. I saw the antenna. See his little antennas? They were sticking out of the water. We're building up our blue crawfish army yet again today. Look at that. That's cool. Okay, so this is actually a male, I think. And this one is a female. I want to get back in this one. I know there's more in this. I mean, think about how many Placos had to be in this little creek for them to make all these holes. Ew, ew, is that? Oh, oh my, ew, what? Is that eggs? Oh, oh my God. Those are freaking eggs. Oh, that's so disgusting. I don't know what kind of eggs those are, but considering we think these are Placo holes for them to lay their eggs, they might actually be Placo eggs. We might've just cracked the case here. Ew, oh, oh no, uh, oh no, where'd they go? No, come back, my babies. Well, that sucks. I just lost my children. I was gonna bring those back and try to turn them into whatever they are. But if you guys know what kind of eggs those are, comment down below. Oh, oh, I need to grab my cast net. There's a bajillion fish right there. There's so many fish right there. Okay, I'm gonna go for them. Here I go. Right in front of that pipe. That's where these fish are gonna be. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh my God, you're trapped, Ellie. Ah, I got you trapped and I got a bajillion fish. All right, let's sit it right here. There's so many fish. Oh, they're going in the holes. Look at that. Ooh. It's like a warm mouth or something. I knew it. I saw him in there. Oh, what is that? 
Look at this one. What? It looks like a torpin. Oh, relax, buddy. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Look how big his scales are. His tail's like red. I don't know what that is, guys, but we just caught it. And we're going to keep it because it's cool looking. Comment down below if you know the name. But we got a bunch of lame ones here too as well. Mayans, tilapias, we'll throw them back. I think we should throw the cast net again, okay? How can we not? Watch out for my trap. Oh, what is, oh, a baby, no! I caught him. It's a baby peacock. How cool is that? Oh no, oh. He's gone. He's gone, okay. Let's go back to these holes and uh, see what else we can find in them. Have we checked this one yet? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No. We got that one and then we got this one over here. Oh, 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 oh. Come check this one out. See the water? It's moving in there. Okay, that means there's something in there. Oh, this one looks scary. I feel like there's a snake in this one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this one. Oh! Yep. Okay, there's a playco in that one for sure. Okay, there's his tail. There's his tail. Oh, this one's huge. Oh my God. These are like big mama playcos that are laying their eggs. Oh, I got his tail. I got it. I got it. Oh, I need two hands. Let go! How are they so strong? me that one's just as big look at the size of that what they do is they wedge their little freaking arms into the mud so that you can't pull them out it's actually a really good defense mechanism but it didn't work okay i still got them am i dirty um just a little bit please go in helen's fish trap please don't oh oh right here right here right here what is that what is that what is that what is that is that a fish oh oh my god oh my god a mines there's more oh there's one there's the other one yes We'll throw them back. Both lame fish. Ugh. Oh, there's so many mosquitoes. Anyone in here? We're trying to save you. Oh, what is that? Oh, ew, ew, another eel. Another eel. An oh, 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 relax. Another tire track eel, you guys. Beautiful. That's number three. We're catching a lot of these guys. In the bucket you go. I like the look of this one. This one looks good. Oh, my God. Helen. Helen, did you see that? Oh, I really hope you guys saw that because that was actually insane. You're not going to believe me, okay? That looked like a massive royal playco. It came up for air, but it looked like a big one, okay? We've caught him before. He's literally in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look right here. Look right here. I got him. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's a royal playco. It's a massive royal playco. Oh, he does not look good. Oh my God. These things are crazy. We caught him here before, just little babies. So we suspected they were breeding in here and we were right. This is a big one. Going in that hole to lay his eggs. But if you look, oh, he does not look good. He's got diseases or something. Are you seeing that? That's disgusting. Ew, look at his eye. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. What do we do? Look, this one doesn't have like the whiskers like the other one we caught this size. We don't want to infect the other fish that we've caught. Maybe I'll grab another bucket and put him in his own bucket and try to like treat him at my house. That's a really nice plate though. If you guys don't know, these things go for like 200 bucks this size. Comment down below how to treat this, you guys. That's disgusting. All right, check this out. We got another bucket for this guy. You're, you're going in jail, buddy. You're in timeout. Let's get back in that hole. That could mean there's some babies in there too. I'm really hoping there's like eggs in here or babies. Oh, oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. Oh, oh, it's a tilapia. This one goes on forever as well. I can't even reach the end. Ah, oh, oh my God. I think there's babies. I felt them kicking around. They were really hard. I got him, I got him. That's not, oh, it's an eel. Yeah, that's an eel. Look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what is that? Our fourth one, dude, they are loaded. We'll get him in the bucket, but I want to get right back into this hole because I swear I felt one of the babies. We're going to have to put this guy in the quarantine bucket as well because he was in the same hole with that nasty playco. Ew! Oh, I'm in there. Oh. Oh, I feel him. I got him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got him. I freaking got a baby. That's a royal playco. I swear, is that a royal? That's not a normal one. That's a baby royal. We did it. That is what we wanted. That right there is a smaller version of that big one that we caught. Doesn't look like this one's infected, but we will have to put him with the quarantine bucket. This one has actually got stripes on it, and this one's sort of like a zigzag pattern. Do you see that? That's so weird. Maybe he's like a hybrid. Maybe his mama had stripes. Let's walk more this way. We've covered a lot, okay? We've we fished in like 10 holes already. Let's see if we can find any more. This looks like a hole. Oh my God, that's scary. Oh, this one goes on forever. Oh, I feel fish. There's something in this one. Oh, oh, that feels like an eel. Oh my God, another one. Oh, this one's dead. No, this one's not alive. This is a dead tire track eel. That proves that these fish are not gonna survive in here for very long. We gotta get them out. Oh my, oh, blue crawfish. Helen, blue crawfish right here. Look, see the claw? I got him, 
I, oh, that's a giant one. That is a big boy right there. That's so interesting. When you stick your hand in their holes, they like try to get out. They're like, oh, heck no. All right, in the bucket he goes. That is our third blue crawfish. But right now, guys, the sun is going down. We can't really fish any more of these holes because if you look down there, it's just covered in vegetation and everything's overgrown. And we did the best we could. We caught a lot of fish out and we saved them. We're going to bring them back to my house. And then we're going to come back tonight and check our fish traps. We're doing a little 1v1 action. Comment down below who you think is going to win. It's obviously going to be me, okay? All right, guys, we've made it back to my house. Now we're here at the quarantine pond. Now we can put most of the fish we caught today in there. However, we can't put the big Royal Placo and his baby in there. So we're gonna have to set up a whole new pond for that one, but check it out. First off, we got this guy. I have no idea what he is. Oh my gosh, he is very jumpy. We're gonna add him to the pond. Beautiful. What else do we got in here? I know we got a lot of eels, blue crawfish. Oh my gosh, look at that freaking jewel cichlid. Got some blue crawfish we'll add. There they go. Got the little stick fish, got the purple eye fish. There they go. Oh, pink convict cichlid that one's cool we'll add that one and then the rest are these little tiny baby tire track eels we'll add them to the pond as well beautiful now we're gonna have to set up a whole new quarantine pond for these placos oh yeah look at that let's start filling it up now while we wait for that to fill up we're gonna get some bait from the mata mata turtle pond to feed to the vampire fish so the three vampire fish are doing amazing and they eat like crazy and right there is a little molly once they see it oh just like that it's over. Oh my gosh, look at those teeth. Gone like an instant, boom. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed the rest of the fish and then we're gonna get those placos in the quarantine pond. Big guy first, oh my gosh, and there he goes. All right, now we get his little baby. But there he goes, father and son. And we have one more fish from that hole and that is this little tire track eel. I'm gonna throw a filter on it. And then we're gonna head back to those fish traps. Here we go. We're gonna check Helen's fish trap first. Now we actually think we have to throw the cast net. So Helen's gonna whip the cast net around, try to catch her trap and uh, see what she caught. Oh, oh, that was right by your trap, I think. Yeah, there's fish out there. Throw it like right in the middle. I think that's where it is. Oh, that was pretty good. Let's see if you got the trap. I don't even see it. <gasps> you caught it! it! No way, good job! Oh my god, cast net professional. <laughs> I'm so proud. Let's see what you got. I hear fish. I see fish, Helen. <gasps> Ooh. What the heck is that? Oh, it's another one of those those cool fish. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, he's jumping. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a giant catfish. Oh, oh, here, here. You know what? I'll go through. I'll get him out. The perfect cast net throw to get him. That was crazy. All right, let's start with this guy. We caught one of these earlier in a cast net. Look how cool that is. We got two now. All right, we're going to put an air right there, get some air on these fish. Ooh, you did good, Helen. Whoa, look at this. A nice big Texas cichlid. That's beautiful. Look at the blue. Oh, you got a giant walking catfish. That's so cool. Okay, now these are walking catfish. They're actually illegal to possess here in South Florida. So, Helen, you are going to jail. Really? We just got to throw him back. We can't keep him. We can't even put him in the bucket. So watch this. He'll walk to, to the water. <laughs> That's why they call him walking catfish, baby. All right. What else? Ooh, a baby peacock. Another tilapia. I'll throw them back. <gasps> Look at that. A blue crawfish. A giant one, Helen. We're on a roll today with the blue crawfish. Wow, you did good. Okay, I'm actually kind of nervous now. Really? Yeah, this is actually a really good trap. Look at the size of that one. Oh my God, another catfish. Whoa, what is this? What the heck? Look at that catfish you caught. What is that? It kind of looks like a butthead. Uh, but yeah, he is. He, I think that is a little baby bullhead. You did really good. This was a nice trap. Two more tilapia. We'll throw them back. Okay. We got the buggy here. Lots of good stuff. Good job, Helen. We're going to head to the hidden tunnel now. Check my fish trap and see what I caught and see who won. Here we go. All right, guys, we've made it to the hidden tunnel. We got a brand new bucket here. I'm going to fill it up with some water and then we're going to head in there and uh, try to find our trap and see what we caught. Here we go. This is spooky. It's a lot scary. Oh my God, look at that spider. Where? Oh my God. Get away. Oh, this is a lot scarier at night. Our trap is right here. There's fish all over the water. This is so cool. Oh my God, that one's black. Helen, that's not one of those normal ones. That's black. Okay, you stay there. I'm gonna grab the trap. Ah, run! That was a freaking brown recluse, I think. Let's see what I got. Come on, did I get any? I don't hear anything. No, no. Come on, I had to have caught something. That was the freaking hidden tunnel. What is that? Ew, what the heck is this? I was touching them. Oh my God. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Honestly, I don't either, but that's really cool. What else do we get? Ooh, pink convict cichlid. Yeah, that's two I've caught today. And that one's a lot bigger. Oh no, oh no, no. <laughs> Put him in the bucket. What else? Oh, <gasps> Helen, this is the third one we've caught today. What is going on? I think I'm gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him in the bucket. That thing is sick. Freaking eel. Oh yeah. You didn't catch an eel either. That's a little baby. Oh my gosh, there's so many more fish in here too. Beautiful Mayan cichlid. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> there is some cool stuff left in here. I see more eels actually. Look at that. Beautiful eel. 
Got him. Look at that. Another eel, dude. What is that? Number 10? I think I won this. Dude, look at the amount of eels I caught. And I think that is about it. Wow. Another successful fish trap. You know what? Both traps caught some really cool stuff. Helen did a great job with the cast net. That was literally first try. We're going to bring all of them back to my house. Get them into the ponds. If you want to see a part two of the mud hole fishing, let me know in the comments. But for now, we'll see you guys back at my house. All right, guys. We've made it back to my house. And we're back at the quarantine pond. Now, we're going to add the rest of the fish we caught in the traps to this pond. Let's get started. We got two of these mystery fish i caught one and helen caught one wow look at this one that's definitely the one i caught there wow. he goes no, that was definitely the one i caught no i caught that one i know for a fact this is the one you caught oh wait they're, they're both beautiful <laughs> oh look there's two right there oh they just kiss oh, but we got a giant blue crawfish i caught that got this catfish which i also caught really oh my god i caught so many fish i got this texas cichlid that was really cool i remember that one another pink convict a mystery fish a eel what else did we get i know we got a bunch of eels so we'll dump it out in the net here all right and the rest are a bunch of eels which i actually did catch insane fish trap 1v1 now both of us caught some cool stuff but you guys need to go down to the comments and vote okay comment who you think won me or helen if you did enjoy this video please go down there leave a like subscribe down below i will see you guys in the next one peace out